What's up, y'all? This is Tamika from Hits with the Messes, and today I'm sharing all of our like math manipulatives and math games. And we're about to see how we aid in multisensory learning for math. So let's just hop right into it. <laughs> coming to you kind of live from our learning room that is for lack of a better term in progress we are reorganizing re shifting just to make it a better flow for all of us and I also have James helping me today so I also like I don't know my sinuses are going crazy so if I sound weird or funny that's why like it's a lot of sinus pressure all that jazz so James is helping me today. We're going to get through it and I will try to explain ways you can use them um, as I go along and also where and how I got them. All right, James, pass me the first one. Okay, so I've said multiple times, like if you're, if you're OG here, relatively new, um, my kids just require multisensory and I especially have just seen the way they take to hands on things. Um, so I got these on prime day. They are wooden 10 frames and you have these other numbers and you can like make them. So this is all like tens and you can make it different teens and all that stuff. And then you have all the other 10 numbers behind it. Um, and so it is good for counting, skip counting, visualization, all that jazz. Um, and then for James, we can use it for like multi-digit addition as well. And it's, they're really thin, which I like. Um, I guess typically the boards are like really, really huge and I didn't want that. Um, part of the reason we are in, you can pass me another one, but um, in progress is because I want this stuff kind of out on display so we all use it well I think my kids are old enough and it's safe enough to do that okay great thanks um next we have an Ikea abacus this is probably one of the first things I ever bought um and I feel like these are like I don't I don't know, maybe nine or 10 bucks. At least that's what it was when I bought it, I think. But um, gosh, I, you can use an abacus. I don't even know how many ways, but we have these. Oh, <laughs> um, this isn't an abacus. Oh my gosh, I just blanked on what it's called, but it's used sim similarly. Um, okay, okay, hold on, James. And we have this. Okay, let me see those. Can I do it? No, let me see it. So these, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw the process of me making these. But these are place value charts that I made from scrap plywood and with vinyl. Um, we have our Matthew C box, and I got this. I can't remember where I got this case from. I'm so sorry, y'all. I will try to find it and link it below. But this is how we keep it organized and separated. Okay, James. He's working over here. What we got next? Oh. <laughs> so we're going to bring these out this year for James. These are like CD-ROM math games. Oh, there's a letter one too. But um, so we're going to try this um we've used apps and stuff like that as well uh abc mouse all that jazz but go. i really want to try those oh more math you see yet yeah, the hundreds for the map you see what is this oh um oh that goes to a game but uh i'm not sure pass me this bag right here yeah okay so these we just got on Prime Day. You'll see them in our Prime Day haul video too. But these are magnetic fraction manipulatives that I'm so excited to use. So these are like, you can see it's lengthwise one and then you can see how all the other parts make it. And then you have the pie as well. Um, I think 
a great way to learn fractions is visually like it even helps me so I'm super excited about these um, another thing I just got were these die from the dollar spot at Target so it's a 10 sided die then you have like counting by two skip counting it, you have a um like a math operation die it's a lot this is great especially for a dollar oh <laughs> okay oh Okay, so we have these power pin games as well. So that one was money. This one is subtraction. This one is addition. And we also have time. Um, and what it is is these cards with questions and you have a power pin. Baby, back up. Hold on. Oh, no. <laughs> um, and it'll tell you the correct answer. So. Next. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Next up. Dinosaur counters. Um, I love I will, dinosaurs. Yes. Uh, I'll link the IG um, reel below where I show all the ways you can use these. It's so many ways. Um, this is another Amazon purchase. James, all done. James Lathan. Thank you. For like visually seeing math, operations, all that jazz. What else you got, James? Yeah, give me some more. Give me some more. It's hard to get. We did this one already, but look, in, we did all of these. Look at the bit. Okay. We also have yeah. the whole set of these math cubes. This, like, if I had to pick one manipulative to have, it would, James, you can put those back. They get the idea. I know. You got a whole day. Do you have all of these? Um, James, you can go put those back. Thank you. We also have these pattern blocks, um, and honestly, while you can use them for like making things and all that jazz, you can also use them the same way you use any type of counters. What else you got, man? Uh, oh, gummy bears <laughs> and the dice. Counting bears again, same way. Counters. Oh yes, counters. We love these. They're like um, transparent these. too. Uh, um, what are these? Those are magnetic pattern cards. What do they do? This would be like my second favorite. A die. You can do so many things with this, and it's large and it's foam, so you don't have like the noise that you normally have <laughs> with the regular dice. Um, and I got these from Dollar Tree. They came in a pack like three or four. I think maybe four. I'm not sure, but it was great. James, pass me something else. Not those. Pass me something else. Come on. What else we got? Oh, we have Play-Doh stamp numbers. So you can do lots of things in Play-Doh, like stamping problems, counting, all that jazz. The back, James. There you got, but. Anything else? Yep. Okay. A rocket ship. Okay, James. Shoo! Thank you. So we have these 3D um, geometric shapes uh, that I love. I got these from like a used homeschool sale. So uh, I can try and find a link for it. But I know whatever it is, I, I pay like $3 for the whole set. So, <laughs> And then the these sorting cups come with the counting bears. Come on, man. Anything else? Not that. Okay. Is, is this it? This is another math game. Oh, James, can you go downstairs and get that fish math game for me, please? You know what I'm talking about with the dot, with all the tiles that we played? It's not, it's in a, like a fish pack. You mean a wheel? Yes. This um, I'm, I, I'm showing that off. Real life, y'all. Um, so I love like free printables and just, these are things we can do in between or like we need a break and you can use the counters or even just like clothespins to match them up here. Um, and then you can pair them with other things you have. So I would pair these with the 
3D shapes we have um, as well. Let me check and see if you, we also have number magnets. Um, okay, yes. We have a clock as well, like a small, um, not a Judy clock, but something a little similar. Um, give it here, but I'm, I'm, I'm sure. No, no, thank you. Thank you. Can you bring me your clock too, please? The yellow one um, right there, yeah. So this. One downstairs to go Okay, thank you. Thank, thank you. This um, I got from Rainbow Resource Center. Um, but these, the, this Moby Kids game, y'all, is so cool. I had fun with it as well. So it's kind of like Scrabble for Math operations, if you will. So you have these operation tile plus minus equal. And then each player gets a color. And you have to make all of the things, like operations, add up. Um, to where like they don't overlap like picture like a scrabble board but with addition and subtraction it's so fun I love it and this is Moby Kids um I wanted to share with you things I want um and really I don't I think we're kind of good right now my main goal with all of this is because I had them in bins like the gray storage cube bins that's what James was taking them out of and I want them to be displayed Montessori style we are doing full Montessori here but Montessori style to where they are always accessible um and we can have resources sorry about that again real life here um so I'm gonna clean this mess up and get to organizing and hopefully next time you see this it'll look better <laughs> y'all have a great day and i'll talk to you soon bye